Hi, welcome back. My name is Larissa, and this is Four Steps to Validating Your Software Proof of Concept. What is a proof of concept, and how is it different than a prototype? A proof of concept always comes first. It's like a document that validates that your idea is a good and needed product. It explores the technical feasibility of a potential solution to see how much it could impact the business. A prototype is the first very basic iteration of your software idea. You'll take what you wrote in your document, your proof of concept, and bring it to life in some sort of visual way. So how do you get started in actually creating your proof of concept? First, you'll have to prove the need for your concept. Define your target audience. Whose problem are you trying to solve? Once you know whose problem you're solving, start to ask them what their pain points are. Get as crystal clear on this as you can. Interview enough people within your target audience that you start to hear the same pain points being repeated. Notice what the patterns are, what they're saying, maybe what they're not saying. Now you should have a clear list of needs that the software should solve. Use this list to create criteria to measure the success of your proof of concept later. Step two, now it's time to brainstorm solutions to the problems that you collected in step one. You might come up with several different ways to solve each problem, which is why you'll need to compare them all together, determine how much they're gonna cost, how long it's going to take, what the competition is like, etc. That way you can have a better idea of which solutions you can move forward with when you create your prototype. Take your list of solutions back to the people that you first interviewed and get their feedback. Their reactions and responses will help provide you with valuable insights that you're gonna need moving forward. Now take the needs and the list of solutions that you collected and combine them into a written proof of concept document. And once you've written your proof of concept, it's time to validate it. Create a prototype that incorporates your solutions, your expected feature set and UI into a rudimentary product that you can test in a controlled environment. There are a couple of ways that you can test your prototype. You can test it yourself, you can hire somebody to test it for you, or you can present it to the group of users that you interviewed earlier. Record their feedback and use of the prototype to determine how intuitive the interface is and see if you're missing any important functionalities. Finally, you're going to evaluate the results of your prototype test and determine whether or not your proof of concept was successful. Go back and consider the success criteria that you set at the beginning of the project. Based on your success criteria and the feedback you received from your controlled prototype test, was your proof of concept successful in validating your proposed solution? Was the strategy that you moved forward with the best strategy to solve the problem? What did you learn? Based on your answers to those questions, you should be able to determine whether or not your proof of concept was successful and if your product is worth continuing to develop. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you discover how you can create a prototype to provide validation for your ideas and gather feedback from potential users. If you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them down below in the comment section. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe for more content in the future. Bye.